Hello everyone, I'm back and I'm starting up the HTML series again. In this particular video, we're going to call this Lesson 27.1, which will basically just be an update to the original video for Lesson number 27. And the reason I'm making this video is because one of the uh, viewers on our channel pointed out that the text area did not submit to the email. So I'm going to go ahead and explain to you why it didn't submit and show you how to fix that problem. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have the HTML document that we've been working on throughout this HTML series. So I'm going to go ahead and open that in Notepad. And once you have the HTML document open, the next thing you want to do is look for the HTML text area within your document. And once you find that, we're going to go ahead and click right after the opening text area tag. We're going to put a space between the word text area and the cursor. And in this case, I'm going to write name equals comment. Okay, and this is an HTML attribute. This is the reason that this form did not actually bring in the text area because we didn't give a name to the text area markup tag. Okay, so we have to name this text area something in order for the email to be able to grab that information. In this case, we're giving the text area markup tag the name comment. So name equals comment. That means when we get this in email format, it's going to say comment equals whatever the content is that's entered into the text area. Okay, so you have to make sure you have a name HTML attribute if you want the form to grab that information and send it to email. Okay, so if you look at some of the other HTML markup tags in our document here, you'll notice that they all have the name HTML attribute. For example, the username has name equals user login name. The key difference was that the text area did not have a name HTML attribute, which is why it didn't go to your email. So let's go ahead and hit Control S to save this. And then we're going to go ahead and close out Notepad. Then we're going to go ahead and open this HTML document by double left clicking on it. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and enter some fake information into this web form and then hit the send button. Okay, so now that we have some fake information in there, let's go ahead and hit the send button. And now you'll see that it has comment equals and then the data that I entered in. So that is how you fix the problem with the text area not going to your email. And if you found this video to be helpful, definitely make sure you embed, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for future videos for the HTML series.